salmon have fundamentally shaped life on the coast. Yet quietly and without explanation, the numbers of salmon in BC are steadily dwindling. This is the problem. This farm is just pouring out disease and pathogens and our wild fish are swimming through it. This whole search is being impeded by the lack of ability to go to the farms and test. The government allows the farms to keep their disease information confidential. There is no way to find out what diseases are on the farms. They're afraid of what will be found. Instead of being a banner year, it turned out to be the worst in recorded history. Over 10 million fish vanished without a trace. We dashed down to the lower Fraser River because we had been getting reports that there was a massive number of salmon dying without spawning. This sockeye had ISA virus, this coho had ISA virus. We tested 11 fish in the Fraser River and we got it three times. Infectious salmon anemia, the most lethal known salmon virus worldwide. Nobody knows what happens when you introduce a virus into a population that hasn't been exposed to it before. We've seen fish with all sorts of things going wrong with them, like big blisters on their side, red blisters all on the inside of their stomachs. DFO does not want to know what this fish died of. I've seen a lot of fish in these supermarkets that I'm really shocked they're selling. Three of them tested positive for ISA. Alex uh, didn't fool around. We gave a press conference. All hell broke loose when we did that. The Minister of Fisheries said that all of them were negative, that our results were completely wrong. It's pretty disturbing, I think, when the government starts to mess around with science. There's no question that the Ottawa muzzled her. Industry didn't want it coming out, and the government sure didn't either. Our ability to protect ourselves, our children, and our homes are being taken away from us. This whole system makes food. These fish come back to us for free. Protection of wild salmon has to be us. I don't see any reason to lose wild salmon.